So we spent some time last week and scoured the interwebs and tried to figure out ways to make this stay cooler longer. In Texas, in the summer, with no shade. Yeah, so we have, the site we're currently at, it is bright white concrete, so nice and reflective right back at us. Um, we are also in a site that has zero shade. Zero. <laughs> um, we had a little bit of the site before. We have the option of going back to a site over there down the road maybe, um, but for now, we don't. So, the number one thing we saw was to add an item called Reflectix. <laughs> Which I, I'm, it's it's essentially chrome bubble wrap. Right. I'm resisting the urge to actually test the bubble wrap stuff. I already did. It doesn't pop like bubble wrap, but it's disappointing. But yes, so that is popular as far as installing. Nobody really did an install video. We didn't know what we were getting into a whole lot yep. besides the fact that you cut it and put it <laughs> up there. We someone doesn't have the patience for this, so we equals one. So jazz hands. Um, so we're going to kind of break down what we use, where we got it. We'll provide yep. links for all that stuff below. Uh, forewarning, you have to customize it. Yep. Um, it's not, it started off not too bad. <laughs> we'll get into that in a minute. Um, but also a factor for you is how many windows do you have in your rig? How many slides do you have in your rig? So our slides are not as well insulated as the rest of our rig. Right. They're still insulated, mm -hmm. but the R ratings are a little bit lower. Um, we have five slides and how many windows? A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot of windows. You know, sometimes you go into a rig and you say, oh, let's buy this rig because it has all these windows and we can see all the beautiful views. 17. That's I just counted them in my head. If it looked <laughs> like I was lost there for a minute. Uh, there are 17 windows in this rig and at least four of them are pretty big. Two are massive. <laughs> don't usually leave them open. <laughs> We don't, but we also haven't been anywhere that we've wanted to leave it open, so. All right, so if you order. This joke is shiny. So if you order online, um, like we did, it comes in various sizes, and we ordered four rolls that are 10 feet by four feet. We've got a lot, yes. Again, we, have, we. We've got a big rig. Hey, you order, don't blame me for that. I, you sent me a link, I pushed <laughs> order. <laughs> and it comes in these rolls. They unfold and you cut to size. Um, if you can see it, it's it really is just kind of like bubble wrap with foil on the outsides. The downside is that when you open it to put it in the window, the first thing it does is, so that's kind of hard. All right, so this window actually showcases two things that are pretty important. Um, first of all, this one didn't have to be cut as to particular size because there's some gapping in this valance and so if you kind of got it close enough you shoved it in there and the valance really the whole frame held it in really nicely we cut a little bit there and a little bit here to make sure we could get to our handles you know just to make it look better also we do have a dehumidifier humid air decreases the efficiency of the air conditioners whenever that condensation occurs. So somebody told us a long time ago, get a dehumidifier to make sure your air conditioners are working harder than it has to. I know it already does function as a dehumidifier, but this helps it work even better. So we use it when it gets a little too stuffy in here or when we're in a moist cl climate. Hi. Here's our happy helpers. <laughs> so you are gonna run into some scenarios based on your particular install. This was the easy install for one. It was. This is like having your first child and it was easy, so you have a second. The rest of the rig was... Yeah, she knocked out the bedroom really fast because all <laughs> of the windows here have that around it. But let's just... So we're going to actually go do the next window and show you how... I'm going to show you how she builds and she'll explain it. Yes. Um, but yeah, let's just... We'll show you a mega window. And let's take this with a grain of salt that... I kind of got done, and so I got a lot done, um, but these are actually not completed yet, but you'll get the idea. So it just dawned on me. Hi, Lauren. Hi. So it just dawned on me that you know, when you're talking about putting the Reflectix, it's one thing to just jam this up against the window as hard as you can. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to create a little bit of an air gap. Yes. So if you look on specifically the Reflectix website or the Amazon page, like where we bought this, mm -hmm. 
it gives you all different kinds of insulation values depending on your install and circumstances. The idea is, is that you want to create as much of an air gap between the window and the Reflectix that you can seal, mm -hmm. you still have to have a seal, um, and, and, and install them that way. That, create, that air gap creates a little more of a barrier mm -hmm. so that it keeps it even cooler. So it's not just reflecting sunlight out, which it is, and it does a good job of that, right. but if you can create that air barrier, naturally RV windows set up for that. Yes. And depending just, on how you cut them. Just to add to that, when I was doing my research, I thought they said the optimum air gap was at least a quarter of an inch. Right. So. I'm not sure what ours are, but it's ish that. Sure. All right, so this is the other kind of window that is, this is your second child that's not as easy as your first child. We also call this window mega window. <laughs> it takes a lot of the, the daylight from the day, or a lot of the sunlight from the day. So on these kinds of windows, the saving grace is these little handles down here because you can actually use those to kind of rest it or at least help you guide it and hold it in place. Without these, it's actually kind of heavy and you have to have a way to keep it sealed to the, the frame so it doesn't drop down. Anyways. When she raises this, it could blow us out here, so we'll see. Oh no, you're good. You can blow away. That's all I want. <laughs> All right, so on these windows, what I would do is actually start my measurement from the outside of this frame here. All the way across to the outside on the far side. So that is 61 inches. And then I would do the same, as tall as it goes to the bottom, and that is 46 inches. So that's the shape that I'm going to start with, is to get my 61 by 46. And then we take magnets. We bought some adhesive magnets and I've put them in this track. So that's about a half inch. And so put adhesive in here to there and then adhere another magnet to the Reflectix. And then when you put the Reflectix on, the magnets click together. And if you're like us, you go, oh, it's metal. It'll work. <laughs> it's not actually metal or it's aluminum. It's something that does not magnetize. Essentially, magnets won't stick to it. So you right. do, like we had to get AB strips so that they would adhere to each other. Yes, so we got the AB rolls. Each one adhere independently and then the A and the B magnets click together. So while Lauren gets our last roll of Reflectix out and starts the cutting process, let's play with the thermal gun again. So. All of this is because of temperature, essentially. So what we're going to do is turn on the thermal gun. So I've got this set to surface. That is the outside of the window that we are talking about doing. So the outside of the window is reading 118.9 degrees. The table is reading 130 degrees. So we're 118.9, we'll call it 119 degrees on that big window. Now back inside the rig again, by the way, cool view, right? Let's see what we're at. And we're at 111 degrees. So if you have these kind of roller shades or blackout curtains, we like to call them, um, they don't completely black anything out, but because they're a darker temperature, they do actually help with some of the heat. Um, if you have them and you draw them, you will see a little bit of a better number as I get the gun back, but it's still 99 degrees on the outside of this surface. So that's still really hot. Once we get the Reflectix installed, uh, we'll reshoot the outside of the Reflectix and then this, once we're wrapped up with that portion and Lauren's got it built and all that good stuff. All right, so we went outside and cut this to rough size. I'm gonna start up there and then rest it on these little knobs here. And then we'll kind of customize it after that. If it hasn't been said before, I'll say it again. Not just us, other of yours. Be ready to adjust. <laughs> How are we adjusting, Lauren? All right, so we realized on 
on this window that this around here actually made one nice frame and then when we have to magnetize the other the rest of it to stick there's a lot less weight so we're gonna cut the space almost in half where we do one section up here that just kind of shoves into that space and then the rest down here that is a little bit more custom for the magnets. While Lauren's working on that some people won't do this simply because of the aesthetic on the outside of the windows. Now, a lot of that depends on your specific windows. Ours have a little bit of a tint to them, so you really can't tell unless you really truly are looking and you can kind of see the shininess to it. Um, it's not the same as like some people will take tin foil um, or aluminum foil and literally like line the inside of their window. I think that's more of a darkness thing. I don't think it actually does anything. Maybe reflects a little bit, but not enough in the grand scheme of things. I don't love the idea of this look on the outside, but I love the idea of the rig being warmer or colder depending on the climate we're in and trying to keep out. So we're taking, again, we, Lauren, is taking a bunch of extra steps so that ours are temporary installed. Ours are not being permanently installed because of the magnets and some of how the lips and all that stuff work. Um, it's, we'll be able to take them down. So when we get in fall or spring, or if we ever wise up and just go to where 70 degrees is, um, we'll be able to pop them out of the windows, work like normal, and then if we need them, we have them on board. Just label everything. Because <laughs> uh, especially if you're like us and you have 17 windows, I think what, the max the two windows work together is two? So there's, there's a lot of different sizes, and so we gotta make sure we're labeling everything correctly. Many hours later. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like whenever it, it's wrapped up. Now, I'll be honest, yeah, we understand it's not the prettiest looking thing, and we'd rather be chasing 70 and looking at the lake, but you know what fixes this? Ta-da, you can't see it. Just ignore I know. that little part of the mouth. Ignore that little part, but I mean, you get the idea. And as long as it helps us out with energy efficiency over the summer, and then if we were to go somewhere, you know, that was really warm where we needed this again, like Vegas or a number of other places, um, it could come in handy. So if we need to use it for a little bit and we just hide the ugly, so be it. I think we're all right with that. Okay, so let's check the temperature. And mind you, I mean, it's still five and six o'clock. This is the heat of the day. So I'll put the other temperatures up on the screen just to remind you. It's it's like an hour later. I've forgotten what they are too. So as I rewatch and edit this, we'll, we'll throw them on the screen. All right. And a quick note, it is double-sided. And so it doesn't matter which side is in or which side is out. All right. Turn on surface temperature. This says 83.4. Not too shabby. All right, just a couple of other little energy efficiency things. Um, things that help are obviously not going in and out the door, leaving that open, keeping the shades drawn. That's kind of what they're there for is to help prevent some of that heat transfer. Um, I really like to think that not cooking really helps because then you don't put off that heat. So <laughs> that was my excuse last night at least. All right, and then what the last thing that we found pretty useful is this little pillow thing. So when you pull it out, it still has that reflective stuff on the, the back of it too. And it helps keep the fan and all that light from just draining the AC out because that, it gets hot up there and it lets a lot of air out. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with us today. I know it wasn't the most exciting thing, but super useful information, and we'll let you know how it works out. So like I said in the beginning of the video, it would mean a lot if you subscribe to the channel. We are trying to actively grow this and bring you more content and, and get out on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, and that only works is if you guys hit that little subscribe button. Um, also, if you didn't know, we have a website. There's not a ton on it at the moment, but we do have a website, so go yeah. check that out too. It's just millersinmotion.com. So that's going to do it for us until next Sunday. Bye, Mom. Playing Coldplay on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by. Now my wheel's in motion and my